This team reminds me of the Green Bay Packers when I first got there. Brett Favre's the starting quarterback. The backup quarterbacks are Doug Peterson, Rick Meyer, and I just saw how they invested in their investment. And then I look at the Buffalo Bills, and you guys have a super talented ascending to be one of the best quarterbacks in the game, and yet you continue to invest in this quarterback room. I'd love to hear about your philosophy, how you look at the quarterback room and building it. Having that support system around the most important piece of your franchise is very important. It's not about collecting talent, it's about building a team. One, two, three, one, two, three! Win. What the organization here has done in investing in the quarterback room and giving us not just great players, great men, and having just like their hand on my shoulder saying, hey, we're not here to, to fight you for your job. We want to help you. We want to help this team. has been fantastic. Case Keenum always admired Case, his guttiness. And then Matt Barkley came in Josh's rookie year when he was injured, played a little bit for us, did a great job. You know, I'd kick myself if at the end of the season, you know, we lost Josh for three or four weeks. We didn't win a game, and now we missed the playoffs because it came down to the decision I made to not invest in the backup. Principle number one, know your role. The backup quarterback for a Super Bowl contender is expected to win games if ever called upon, but the plan is for him to never play. With a combined 21 years of NFL experience, Case Keenum and Matt Barkley offer a seasoned set of eyes to a quarterback room that includes all-pro QB Josh Allen. You know, if Josh's shoelace breaks or something, Matt and I adding our expertise and ways of getting it done, I think is important. I think we're all in it together to win. And I think when you have a room where there's, there's no butting heads, we're all trying to make each other better. I think those are the best kinds of rooms. Principle number two, insight matters. A great QB room needs more than just experience. It needs familiarity, something that Case Keenum and number one wide receiver Stefan Diggs know all too well. You do remember the Minneapolis miracle, right? Diggs, sideline, touchdown, unbelievable! Case throws in these little tidbits every once in a while, like, hey, we need to do this with 1-4. He played with him when he was a younger guy in Minnesota. He's got to see him kind of transform into who he is right now. How far he's come in his career is pretty cool. To be just another extension of Josh. Josh and I are watching the digs, and we think we, you know, we can go here, maybe take it a little deeper, take this angle on this route. So uh, I think the communication is what it's all about. Principle number three, camaraderie builds chemistry that is contagious. When the QB room is done right, it doesn't feel like work. It just feels fun. What are some things in the quarterback room that you bond over? We love golf. Oh my gosh, we're all addicted. We all have the bug. Played a lot of golf this off season together. Golf, food, uh, Catan, board game. Have you ever played oh, Settlers? Settlers of, I, I call it Settlers of Catan. It's Settlers of Catan. Settlers? I think <laughs> from Boston, you're from Texas, you know. Have you ever played Risk? Yeah. So it's kind of like Risk meets Monopoly. It's a strategy game, it always changes, so it's never the same game. It's not just a luck game, obviously there's a lot of luck involved, but placing certain settlements and cities in different spots, you know, it keeps the competitive juices flowing. And who's the best at that? Josh has won. I have yet to win. But I've been a lot of second places. <laughs> you have the chemistry that so many GMs and head coaches are trying to, like, fabricate. Why do you think it is working so well here? You know, ultimately you want good, talented players, but you also want guys that are in it for the team, in it for their brother. As you know, it's a 17-game season. You're going to hit adversity, and those teams that, that are there for each other, they'll fight through the adversity. What's the best thing that Josh Allen brings to the table? His confidence. Everybody knows, and it's infectious. When you say everybody knows, I think the opponent is well aware of it as well. I think everybody in the stadium uh, can see it in 1-7. <laughs> 